Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So last week I was showing you in the process of re renovation inside this uh, 2008 Toyota Sienna and uh, I finally got the main furniture done in here. So before we get to that, I'm going to show you the previous furniture I used which I migrated from my old Sienna 1999 Toyota Sienna over. It worked but it's not maximized the room inside of this uh, certain minivan. So let's go check out those furniture first and I'll show you why those things was work for a smaller generation one Toyota Sienna, but it, it doesn't work well in here. All right, let's go check it out. So, don't mind the mess back there. This is my garage. So, first of all, let's look at it. This is my, the main platform for the back. And it's it's actually two sections, which you can see right here is uh, the two nut and washer. I left it out because I didn't feel like hook it up. But uh, what it does is you can actually dis, disassemble this and put it in the back of the old Sienna, store it away in the back you know, out your way, so, yeah, see, that will go down like that, they'll pull it up, so you shrink it down to small size, but it still provide a very uh, stable platform, but it doesn't provide a lot of storage underneath it, so what I do is I create a box that I can store all my other stuff that I need, so you can see, all kind of stuff in here so I'm not gonna go through that but that's all my need for my uh, traveling on the road and this is my uh, water system S six gallon and this is my chuck box which you know I used to do all my cooking like my little mini kitchen all my uh, stuff that I cook will be stored under there and you can see right now there's nothing in there so this one worked well but once you put into this uh, new vehicle, it doesn't work well. So let's check out what I got going on right now. All right. So let's first take a look at what remaining material that I got left after I build these uh, furniture inside the minivan. I built everything from a sheet of four by eight, four foot by eight foot plywood, half inch. So it's thin. So because it's thin, it will tend to flex when you uh, lie on it or sit on it. So I use two by two, two by one, and whatever this size, three by half, I think. So kind of, this is what left of it. All right, let's go check out the furniture, all right? So that, this is what you see from the inside, all covered up. So you can put other stuff like blanket or pillow, whatever back here, and you know, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't entice people, thief to steal stuff from you. All right, we will come back to this middle piece later why it, it was cut right there, all right? So and to show you how it was, uh, I kind of have to do this in verse. So people, I was uh, on previous video, I will put it up on the top here, if I remember. The length for this uh, platform from there to here is uh, five foot, four inches. I'm 5'8", so it don't fit well. And right now, this uh, three pieces combined give me six foot. So that's why you, it look kind of tilted up there. And it's a six inch foam, so kind of overkill uh, foam. So I might upgrade it to uh, a four inch, uh, downgrade it to four inch instead of six. So that way it give me a little bit more headroom up here. I will show you why it won't give me that much headroom if you use six inch. So. I'm gonna donate it to somebody. I know she's already spoke for it, but I haven't heard from her yet. That platform and this will go together. And you can see I'm sitting in the bed right now and I have to tilt my head a little bit, but that's okay. The only reason this bed is here is for sleeping. Once I get up, that's when I'm gonna go to the other side, which I will show you now. As soon as I get up, I will hop into this, uh, I call it a lounging chair area, right? All right, get up 
hop right on it, jumping over here. So right now I have the light, my uh, battery pack there with the light on to give me some light in here. So, all right, let's dissect the the top uh, part here to see how it was put together and how easy it is to move it out, convert into a passenger mode in a zippy. move the foam out of the way for now I'm gonna put them here so the back platform is two sections this and this and right now as it's tight together it's pretty tight I can sit on this you know so let's uh, disassemble this this thing is much nicer than the other one. Let's see, I think I need a screwdriver. Sometimes you don't. This time I upgraded a little bit better, more, much more better than that primitive way of connecting the pieces together. So there's a screw. This piece will come up. There we have it. This is how it looked like. This piece actually go in here. Like that to support the platform against the seat and you can see it is there was not a whole lot of metal going on in here so this will be stored over here like this so let me move over here come along as you can see, there's two little, actually, nut that built, that tight into the platform. I had two of them somehow. I dropped in and then I couldn't find the other one. So it, it is somewhere in here. So some people will ask me where I put the fish. Well, the fit is right here under the platform, right? So as you can see, there's a lot of stuff under here, very busy. Let me move this, let me pause this. So, instead of having a chuck buck, this is more like my cooking area right here. If I'm traveling by myself, this will come up. That's my stove. Right now, this will be, I'm planning on using these uh, one gallon uh, bottle of water like that. If I carry four, I got four gallons. It's easy to stash them around. This is all my cooking stuff inside a little container with gas and everything. And it actually have a seal around it. So if it does leak, it kind of minimizes it a little bit. All right. You can see my jackery is here, store here, fridge there, a little bit of clothing there. And these, I love these uh, milk crates. See, right now I have junk. So I'm not sure what I will put yet. So, but I got three of these under the here for, for stuff. It's all junk right now. So as you can see, there's a lot of storage under there. And remember, I still have storage back here too. Under here, a majority of my clothing that I used before, these are cool containers that you, you can buy on Amazon cheap for like 12 bucks. And they came like six seven different pieces like this see one two three four and i got two more small ones and that is the storage area here all right so some of you might complain like wait a minute that's too small it's only 20 inches across that's fine if you want more room let's add the piece to this part Right now, I don't have, I didn't build the leg for that piece in the back yet. Let's go get that piece. Yep, this piece came out. When I go to the front, this is very customized built. 
let's do this. I'm gonna put you down. It's hard to do it by one with one hand, all right? Close your eyes so you don't get dizzy here. Oh, sorry. There you go. A cross is 48 inches. You can actually sleep two people in here or just by yourself. Nice and comfy. See how big the platform is. But if you are done in the morning, you don't want them to feel like moving in there, just slide it in over here. See, right now I just slide it out. It will be the same way I build on that piece. I haven't finished it yet, but it's pretty much the same way how I put it here. I almost forgot one important piece, guy. See, this is my solar panel that I hide under here, which I will put on the top. I will uh, be on the look. I will put it up here. The installation, another video for this. But this is my uh, solar panel. That is stored under here. Yep. Tight, nice and tight in there. It ain't going nowhere. So, it took me about 15 minutes to remove everything and burn, convert it back to passenger mode. As you can see, three people can ride in the back, plenty of leg room. Nothing under here, so I can carry whatever, grocery, whatever here, safely away. So everything pretty much stay in here, the bed system and the storage system. So let's go in the back. That middle, those two middle bits sit is over here. See, when not in use, I will store them. This is the storage mode. Out of sight. Still have everything needed for the bed system and storage system. Nothing is removed from the vehicle. Only the three, the refrigerator, the three uh, milk crate, whatever under the that those areas remove. You don't want to leave stuff in there. One thing I forgot to put in here was my uh, food, dry food, which is can go over here, somewhere over there, or, or in in those crate, those milk crate, because those milk crate, remember I have a lot of junk in them, so. There's plenty of storage in this vehicle and still retain the whole bed system for two people in the vehicle without ever removing it from the vehicle. All right. There is a mistake, a few mistakes that I did in this vehicle when I built this. Let's see if anybody can see it. If you see it, put it down in the comment. Here you can see the power, uh, the solar panel can stay in here permanently. I don't have to remove it. Come back next week, I will do an installation. I will put the bracket up here for quick removal and install solar power panel on top of this vehicle. More likely, they will come down this way into the vehicle, either on this side or that side over there. Thanks for watching. I will catch you on the next video. Bye now.